you know, I keep saying it's overwhelming. It's surreal. Um, I feel so completely humbled by this whole thing. Um, never in my wildest dreams but I thought this would ever happen. So um, I am taking it in my stride and just trying to give it my all and be thankful. You know, this is, doesn't happen every day. We only had really just uh, two uh, two rehearsals with the, with the orchestra. That was it. We ran through it this afternoon and then went on. So, you know, it was like, like crazy. It's like jumping on a moving train, you know, and the audience was so receptive and so supportive. It was uh, very exciting. What we've done is we've really tried to start over and put all hands on deck to really, really give them proper rehearsal time to to make to tailor the show for them, for their talents, for their their characters, their Finch, their Bigley, and uh, they brought a lot to the table. We've enjoyed re-investigating the show for them and with them. Daniel is such a gracious guy, and uh, if, if anyone's met him, I, they will they will tell you that he's such a warm spirit. He was so overwhelmingly uh, available to me. So if you have any questions, if you want to talk about anything. So, um, yeah, he, he was certainly a, a big supporter of mine, and that made it really easy for me. Oh, he gave me a joke that's, uh, that Robert Morris started when he originated the role, and uh, that went to Michael, uh, excuse me, with, um, oh my god, uh, please, oh my god, forgive me, Playbill, I just did a show, my brain's uh, killing me. Um, oh my god, uh, Matthew Broderick. So Robert Morris, Matthew Broderick, and to Dan, they all had the same joke that they did. Matthew, I'm sorry if you've ever watched this, I've, uh, my brain's a bit frazzled, um, but they have a joke that's been passed down, so he gave me that joke, and so we use it tonight. It worked. John, I've known him for a long time. I saw I saw the show with him in it. He made me laugh. He's such a gifted performer, a great comedian, and he was very gracious uh, in his support of me stepping in and him handing the baton to me. But I'm finding my own way in it. It's different, you know. For you know, we're both different guys. We see it differently, but I think that's the fun of. Uh, for the audience to see different people interpreting the same uh, role, but it's great to be a part of it. He's a perfect fit. His, his energy is right, his spirit is right. He he follows in the mold that Daniel made, the mold of the younger Finch, the mold of the Finch who's enthusiastic and eager and front-footed. And Dan established that and Darren certainly is that as well. I would have taken it for two weeks. I would have taken it for one week. Anybody that terrific playing the part. Darren is a very gifted young man. You know, he's multi-talented. He composes music. He's got a theater group. He, he does this. And very respectful guy, you know, works real hard. I like him very much. They did a great job. It was a really good show. The audience was electric and the cast just like absorbed it. And I thought that Darren and Bo, everyone did a great job, but Darren and Bo did an amazing job. I mean, to take two weeks of rehearsal and go out there in this machine that's been running for a year and just fold in as beautifully as they did, they did a beautiful job. And a couple of wrinkles happened, but you know, it went on and we did it and the audience seemed to enjoy it. So what else can you ask for?